The four great fairies are back in The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Unlocking all four of these great fairies should be on everyone's top priority list, as it allows you to upgrade your gear's defensive stat and allow you to take way more hits than before. No more game over screens, so let's dive into it. Welcome back everyone, it's Abdali here with another tips and tricks tutorial video for The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Today's video is detailing all four of the great fairy locations in the game, and they're not the exact same thing as they were in Breath of the Wild. You're going to have to do all sorts of new quests in order to unlock them. So, yes, I said it earlier before in the video, you are going to want to do this ASAP. Trust me, there's going to be some basic gear that you'll get throughout the game, but it doesn't have a strong defensive stat, and if you find yourself getting KO'd and having a lot of game overs only to be frustrated, this video is for you. Hopefully you have been going through the entire overworld collecting a lot of Bacoblin materials and just materials in general because those are the go going to be the items that you'll use in order to fuse and upgrade your stuff. Anyway, that's enough of that. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and it helped you out, be sure to smash that like button and share the video with a friend. Let's jump on into showing you guys exactly where to find all four of the great fairies. You'll locate the first great fairy near the Woodland Stable and the Echo Chiyu Shrine, which is directly northeast of Hyrule Castle across a river. Head to the stable and find Pen talking to a bunch of musicians. He'll mention seeing a great fairy go into hiding, and the music troupe wants the player performance for her in order to get her out. Start the Serenade to a Great Fairy quest and grab two wheels from the supply cache nearby to attach to a wagon named Breezer. Speak to the troupe again, and they'll sit inside the wagon and wait for you to tow them up to the nearby hill to the Great Fairy. Talk to the man at the counter of the stable in order to take out a rental horse and choose the option to equip a towing harness. Use Ultra Hand to attach the wagon to the harness and make your way up towards the Great Fairy's bud. The troop will play their song and the Great Fairy Terra will come out to greet you. Since you only have one Great Fairy available, her power is limited to a single upgrade to any of your gear, so take a look at what materials you have and upgrade accordingly. Our next destination is to find Mija near Hebra, so if you have access to any shrine that'll take you to the northwest part of the map, warp over to that location and start the next quest. The closest stable to this great fairy is the Snowfield Stable, so head over there and talk to the maestro and his troop to get the Serenade to Mija quest started. Immediately open the map and track the quest, and you'll find an exact location of the missing horn player named Eustace around the Tabantha Great Bridge. Head over there and find him stuck in a large ditch. You'll have to make some sort of contraption to get the wagon out of the ditch, so grab a square plate and place it right on top of the wagon with a pair of fire emitters and balloons, as well as fans on the back of the wagon too. Activate it and you'll see it fly diagonally upwards and out of the ditch. Head back to the snowfield stable to see the troop reunited, but their breezer wagon is busted again. So use Ultra Hand to attach a roof to the top of it and report back to them to have them all jump aboard. Board. Grab a horse with a towing harness, attach it to Breezer, and tow them all the way to Mija's Fountain to the end of the quest. Now that you have two fairies, you'll be able to upgrade your gear to level 2. The Great Fairy Kotera will be located southeast of Hyrule, near the Dueling Peak Stable next to West Nakluda. Head over there and talk to the maestro to get the Serenade to Kotera quest started, where we have to travel north of here to find Beats the drummer. Open the map and track the quest to find his location. When you find him, he'll ask for some Corsair Bee honey, which luckily, Eustace the Horn Player rewarded you with some in the previous quest. Hand it over and he'll agree to join the troop. When you head back to the Dueling Peak Stable, everyone will be reunited and agree to head to the nearby river to cross it. You'll need to use the nearby parts to tow the wagon across the river. So, grab two of the nearby fans and place it on the back of the wagon, then grab the wing and steer stick and attach those to the front of the wagon so that you can tow it all the way across the river. Once you reach the shore, the band will play their music and the Great Fairy Kotera will come out. Like the rest of the Great Fairies, Kotera will be able to upgrade any of your gear to level 3 this time. Thank you. 
For the final Great Ferry, you'll need to make your way to the outskirts stable directly southwest of Central Hyrule. So warp to the Susuum Shrine, if you have access to it, and meet up with the music troupe nearby. The maestro will mention that their last member is a flute player, located in the southeast of the Highland Stable, and start the Serenade to Kesa quest. Head to the Highland Stable from the Utsushak Shrine if you have access to it, and head inside the stable to meet up with a small girl named Haiti. She'll tell you that her friend Piper is trying to impress her, and you'll see him on top of a tree directly outside the stable. Talk to him and he'll mention that he used to be part of the Stable Trotters troop, and he'll want you to help him make the tree glow with fireflies. You can purchase a few of the fireflies from Beetle inside the stable, but you'll need to catch the rest of them in the Finra Woods to the north. Ensure that it's nighttime by resting at a nearby campfire and head up towards the woods. Press in the left control stick to crouch and sneak around behind the sunset fireflies and catch the remaining amount that you need. Check in with Piper and he'll need you to bring Haiti to him while it's still dark, so head to the stable and tell her to follow you to that exact tree. Then you'll see Piper serenade her with a beautiful flute performance. After that, Piper will agree to meet up with the music troupe again, so warp back to the outskirts stable to meet Maestro. This time, the road ahead is blocked and you'll need to make a vehicle with monster tires. So grab the stone slab, the missing tire, and place the wagon and steer stick on top of it to drive up the rocky surface towards the Great Fairy Fountain. Once there, the troupe will play their final song and unlock Kesa, the fourth Great Fairy that will take any armor and upgrade it to the max level 4. And there you have it, all four of the great fairies within The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Which great fairy is your favorite? And I want to know, which gear was the very first one that you want to bring all the way over to level 4? Of course, I want to go through and do the Fierce Deities gear, but... I don't have enough star pieces for that, so I'm going to have to keep on playing and farm that. Anyway, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to smash that like button, share the video with a friend, and of course hit that subscribe button in order to get notified of all the latest and greatest Zelda content. We'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.